Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Get early access to all of our interviews, including the monthly Chichester chats with writer and comic book legend D.G. Chichester, new episodes of classic Capes and Lunatics shows, including The Quantum Zone, This, That, or the Third, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes, or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. One last time, we're going to eat your brain. Uh, I feel like my brain got ate because Joy Marcato showed up in this one. Oh, I knew it. I knew. I knew the hate was coming. All right, kids. Welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Spider Cast. The last Venom well, Ultimate of the month. Venom Cast for this month, actually. I am Phil, and joining me, as always, that, that lethal protector herself. It is. And that's right, kids, because this time, like I said, the last Venom episode of the month, we've been doubling up on them, but yes, this time we're doing Venom. We, we had to pull a marble to get to our 300. Exactly. Venom lethal protect, or lethal, the ex- separation anxiety from this year. That's right, kids, and future will take a drink. This is the penultimate episode before episode 300. Woohoo! And our Zeb Wells celebration. I do think we should do something a little positive and say stuff we liked about the run. It's going to be not a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I figured we were going to bring up points about the his entire run. It's like what we like, what we didn't like. Yeah, yeah. And again, kids, send in your thoughts. Uh, but you know, you know what? I've seen so many people excited for that eight deaths of Spider-Man. I don't know if it's. I mean, the, it's intriguing. I don't know it's, if it's, it's refreshing. It's a yeah. breath of fresh air. It's something different. I don't know if we, it's. We needed this. I don't know if it's the doom angle because I know I know Russell was tell was talking about it. And I don't think he's a regular Spider Man reader. Dave Finn was asking me, he's like, when does this start? I was like, wow. Yeah, like it's a lot of people who really aren't regular Spider Man readers are like, yeah, when's this start? When's this start? So. And again, it's probably the Doom angle because, oh, you, know, you see, that's the next big event, and then uh, what is it? February, maybe. Uh, Emperor, yeah. Emperor. It's a Doom Emperor world. Doom. We're just living in it, baby. Oh, definitely. So, yeah, literally, it's in here in February. I still wish they would re- 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 uh, renege on the Robert Downey Jr.'s uh, Doom thing. I, 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 maybe it's like a red herring. Maybe it's just like the real Doom, like transfers like his mind in it. Like Tony Stark's corpse yeah, or right. something. I mean, there's a lot of ways they can go, but it's the MCU, and they go the the lowest common denominator a lot of the time. The so. easiest way, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Path of least resistance, I should say. That, that's a better way for sure. Oh, just like your dating life. All right, I see. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes you don't want to think; you just want to vibe. He's he's well equipped, but he doesn't have a brain. Okay, <laughs> let's roll, kick. <laughs> All right, so. Should we get to this Venom Separation Anxiety? Let's do it. Volume 2? Especially, so random. <laughs> especially so. But at least they got the original person back. So. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and, and no synopsis. I'm like, I'm like Man of Steel. Still bitter. Still bitter. <laughs> oh, that'd be so great. If they, oh, bring back Burn. There we go. Yes, Venom Separation Anxiety number one. Look at look at someone trying to be Web of Spider-Man number one. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> trying so hard. <laughs> Mm, that conjure up good memories, and so it doesn't feel like a cash grab, you know. <laughs> Which it, it it is a cash grab, but it's a successful cash grab because I don't mind it. Exactly, Venom Separation Anxiety Volume Two, Number One, uh, from July twenty twenty four, The King in Purple Part One, Colorado Split. Uh, writer David Michelini, penciler and anchor Gerardo uh, Sandoval, colorist. Ramulo Vajaro Jr., letter of VCs, Travis Lantham, and editor Tom Groenman. And like I said, there's no synopsis. So, and again. I mean, it's so new. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know what? I have. It's like, what, two or three months old or something like that? Uh, Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to remember the. um, I think the last issue only came out like a few weeks ago. Because again, if you go on Marvel Unlimited, they only have the first two issues on the app. Because yeah, it is so new. Because it, like, just ended. Uh, so, yeah, kids, floppies. And I'm sure this is going to get collected at any moment if it hasn't already. Because almost a lot of the new stuff, it seems like it's, like, the minute the last issue comes out, it's, like, the trade's coming, like, two weeks later or something. Yeah, it's between, like, two to six weeks. It just kind of depends on, on 
you know, it just kind of depends on the popularity of the character. But yeah, everything's rigged for the trades, and they're just, you know, yes. looking for a good time for it to come out. So, and what did you think that, I mean, our ultimate uh, 90s uh, uh, theme here, Lil? First page, here he is lifting, lifting weights again. <laughs> I, you know, listen, lean into it. You have to. You know what I mean? Exactly. He's lifting weights and, of course, you know, just muttering to himself about, oh, soon Parker will kill you, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> I know. But, yes, he's talking about, yes, yeah, so, you know, about being rejected and he'll soon will kill you. But first, lunch as he swings off. Exactly. You gotta, you gotta, you don't want to do that on an empty stomach. And as He's he- just like, he's got to let it go. He's got to let the whole, you know... Sin Eater scandal go like mm. it, it, it's 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 old at this point, but I know. And but I, also, Pilgrim Arc agri- Agriculture Research really <laughs> <laughs> just named a cornucopia. Oh, so it was a Pilgrim. We're chart charting un- to uncharted territory. Listen here, Pilgrim. All I hear is freaking John Wayne. Oh Lord, <laughs> uh, they're a cowboy. I don't want to be a cowboy. <laughs> Well, they say don't let your sons be cowboys, and then we had Paula twenty years later wonder where all the cowboys went. So, I mean, we did it, boy. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, so, yes, more secret, secret, co- secret corporations doing naughty things behind the uh, scenes. <laughs> they call the pitch and penny Jonah. What? Uh- <laughs> <laughs> they call the pitch and penny Jonah. I was like, yes. Oh, uh... that was hilarious. I like that one a lot. Uh, but yes, yeah, Joy Mercado, your favorite, gets an assignment, and, uh, you know. She's, a, she's surprised they didn't load her up on a bicycle with a rope. <laughs> yeah, because she's like, oh. <laughs> John Jameson slander in this book, I love it. I know, because she's talking to Betty, you know, the uh, mastermind behind everything, yeah, she's like, you know, I guess he's flying me out coach, and she's like, oh, what do you expect, a Learjet? And she's like, no, but he could have just loaded me a bicycle with a road map, jeez. He's like, oh, Joe's doing all right for herself. I'm like, babes, the one person I hate, you can hate too. It's okay. Eat her brain. It's fine. No one's going to miss her. I promise. How dare you, you hypocrite. I mean, he's like you. He likes blondes. Come on. I know. I know. I like redheads, actually. But... Oh, my. <laughs> uh, Everybody I... knows blonde guys are evil. Sorry. I thought I thought you didn't I thought you didn't uh, mind the nationality or, uh, you know, you didn't mind country of origin. You just, uh worried about their nuclear stockpile exactly a little does little does discriminate except for in one area and you have to be over six we well, definitely yeah, have to be, be a, six foot at plus. least at well, least probably six foot two but like that that that's really narrowing the field down so you know you gotta be six handed a little bit you gotta be and s- i do know what six foot looks like not five eleven and a half okay <laughs> Lil, i can Lil, eyeball that pretty good <laughs> six foot at the at the least <laughs> Uh, and again, Eddie's just like freaking out. You know, he, he went up to the street, He's got like, bunched. Why is he in all black? Like, it looks like he's about to shoot up a school. Oh, oh my! <laughs> yeah, especially when he starts yelling at the newspapers at that newsstand. Is he? Uh, I was like, uh, well, you know, he's got a little burrito though. He he he's he's fueled up on his protein. He's ready to go on a rampage. Mm. Then that kid with a knife, and it's just like, okay, mm-hmm. okay. Oh, and then of course, uh, of course, uh, we see it uh, at the vault. We see we get the purple man. Oh yeah, you know this is gonna be bad. Kilgrave. Purple man's bad news, man. King and purple, yeah. That's all. <laughs> yes, kids. Yes, kids. The purple man is in this story. You know, no, King and purple is was not a uh, reference to uh, a sexually frustrated Eddie Brock. So. <laughs> He's never sexually frustrated. Him and the symbiote oh have my. symbiosis, okay? He's got to ease that dumb little meat's head's mind somehow. Oh Just my. saying. Oh, my. Don't, it's literally canon. Don't don't at me, guys. If you're not a Venom fan, just say that. Hey, man, a guy's desperate enough. You, you, you never know. <laughs> the action in this one's a little um slow. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, the first issue is good, but it's a lot of setup. Oh my lord, how how do you feel about Eddie at the airport and he's like <laughs> pretending to be a blind guy? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like he's like yeah, I don't think anyone's lo- really looking too closely for Eddie Brock, but he's like a blind Eddie Brock. No, no, it's 
<laughs> but why does the hat have the Venom logo on? I don't think it's the logo. Isn't that the eyes? No, no, it's the symbiote. It's just like blood. I know. But I think it's You're the making your own merch. It's the symbiote's eyes. It, <laughs> because he says he, he's gone so far in this blind man impersonation that he's got the you know the symbiote and then the shirt too. No, the symbiote's giving him glasses, and he's like, I can't see out of these glasses. So the symbiote's look at watching for him. You know. I know it's it's a symbiote. Yeah. <laughs> they have a cheap full symbiote here. And I, I guess it's the 90s, but yeah, like you said, some guy snuck a knife into the airport, and he's, uh... Uh, he F went... in the chat, guys. <laughs> if, you, if you lived, if you if you happen to have been able to go to an airport before 9-11, pre-9-11, yeah. That's right. Now TSA, it's just all theatrics. <laughs> oh, did you... Oh, my God, I saw a joke online a couple weeks ago. They It, it was said, uh, if you really want to freak out TSA when they're patting you down, just whisper real quietly, slower. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I wouldn't do that. No, I, I, as, as a woman, I wouldn't recommend that. But yeah, if you're a guy and you want to freak him out, just like yeah, slower. Especially if it's the old grumpy guy. Oh yeah, I might get you through. <laughs> I might get you through slower. That or you get tased. But yeah. So yeah, th this guy wants to ride to Cuba in a couple million bucks. So he takes this another blonde at uh, knife point and a so quarter. So yeah, lethal protection. Like, She's just doing her job. And then nowhere literally out of nowhere rhino uh so yeah venom snaps this guy's neck with his webbing and then I, well that's one way to do it <laughs> yeah you don't have webbing <laughs> and then he sees joy hey hey babe small world because <laughs> again i guess they knew each other through uh reporter uh, uh she's like get first she's like get back stay away he's like you too does the whole world misjudge us what do you expect you're all over the news violence brutality you've changed He's like, no. Nope. Before, it's only if your life is in danger. Yeah, he's like, no, we've changed. The better to bring justice to other victims of treachery. He says, he's, he's like, I'm still me. Mm. I do like the line. Um, he's a story's a story, but don't follow it into the obituaries. Yeah. And then Venom, because I don't like bullies either. Exactly. Well, neither is Captain America, but he's not snapping next left and right. Exactly. Why well, I don't really care for Captain America. <laughs> If you ain't snapping nets, I don't know what to tell you. He's just old fashioned. Leave him <laughs> oh, then we get the flashback of uh, yeah, how Eddie once saved Joy's life. Oh, that that chick's always in danger. She's always doing dumb stuff. Yeah, because they were they were getting shot at, and then she fell off this roof, and he caught her, even though he took a, a bullet in the shoulder. Like he felt it with all that muscle. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's right. Lil loves that muscle. <laughs> I need some muscle and some meat. I actually don't really care for gym bros. Gym bros are a bit much. Like, I don't care about your macros, okay? I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't care about the, the brand of protein powder you're taking. I don't care about your pre-workout. Gym bros are boring. Gym bros are almost as bad as finance bros, to be quite honest. That's that's all foreplay for you? What you what you bring, bro? No, not at all. Bro. Mm. Oh yeah, I love this whole. Time. I like I like a man with a healthy comic book obsession. Those are the safest. Or somebody that plays video games all day. I don't care. <laughs> at least I know you're staying out of trouble. You know. As long as you can perform at Showtime. <laughs> exactly. You know, video game players hand-eye coordination. I'm just saying. Just uh, saying, ladies, think you got to think bigger. So gamers, if you can bring that joystick, yeah, well done. Uh oh, are you looking for a man? We could do a little Hellfire dating game. No. <laughs> I'm sure. There is a really great picture in this one that I really like, and I kind of need without the word bubbles and uh. Oh, which one is that? Hold on, I'll, I'll show you. Keep talking. Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll pull it up. So yeah, the I mean the whole thing is yeah, everyone's going out to this uh to to uh, to the vault because they're doing something with the purple man, uh, and then of course yeah, Eddie's uh showing up. But yeah, like you said, yeah. We hate bullies. See, all this needs all this. Oh, this needs, she, just that. Oh, she wants just some, she wants some venom ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Dear Marvel, if you can hear me. And that's always cool too. Like when the guards shoot at him, and then he just uses the symbiote to spit the bullets back out. Yeah, I like that a lot. That that symbiote's pretty OP. <laughs> bullets. We never use them ourselves. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, and like you said, the rhino shows up, of course. So we have we get a we get a meathead fight here. Oh, to the fullest. Two people stuck in a suit, you know? Yes. 
Rhino, if we read stories about you fighting Spider-Man under other circumstances, we might have been friends. Hard to sum it up, strong. Yeah, smart, not so much. Yes. <laughs> like, leave poor Alexi alone, please. Because he break, cause, yeah, because the Eddie the tricks him and the charges into the yeah, he breaks uh purple man's uh, glass he's case. All, and... the, he's all covered in the sticky goo of it all. Oh my! <laughs> and then that's where we kind of learn. Mm-hmm. You see the purple, and it's just like, oh no. Oh, no. Yeah, Kilgrave touches Venom, and there's some sort of feedback. And then, uh, seems so, part of the symbiote, yeah, is, is now stuck to Kilgrave. Mm. You, you don't want that. <laughs> no, no, no. Everybody thinks they do, but only Eddie has managed it successfully. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it seems like, yeah, at the end of this, yeah, Purple Man's escape. But yes, now, yes, not only does he have his original powers, but he has got, uh, this. The part of the symbiote that's the uh, because he made a lot of the guards shoot each other and made his escape. Mm. Those weird tattoos all over his body. He didn't have them this morning. Weird black tattoos. Yes, yes, and the <laughs> and uh, all the Eddie at the end. They may not know where all that came from, but I do. We do. How many variant covers does this thing have? Oh my lord! Uh. I don't know. Probably... I think it had eight. I know it had a blank cover. I know it had a foil cover. I think they all kind of did because I know I saw a variant for for the last issue where it's basically the cover to Infinity Gauntlet number one, except instead of Thanos with the gauntlet, it's uh, Venom. I'm like, don't put that. I really in. wish I could have got the foil variant. Kind of bummed I didn't. I love a foil and a lenticular variant. They need to do more. Mm hmm. But then a lot of them were just kind of um, the. They, I think Sandoval variant had three. It had the regular one, the gold one, and the silver one. So I, I kind of don't like when they do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's like the same thing, but they just like yeah, just different like colors different, and yeah. yeah, that's so good. All right, uh, all right, ready for number two? Yeah, right. the, I know two only had four variants. Well, three variants technically. I mean, do you, I mean, again, I mean, the, the variant business is like the business right now, but I'm like, past like an issue one, do you really need a ton of variants on like an That's issue? That's what I'm saying. They did have a Fantastic Four one, so I was okay with that. Mm. For yeah. uh, issue two. I'm sure it looks great, but I'm always just like, and then you get those weird variants where it's like, has nothing to do with the issue, where it's like, the Fantastic Four yeah. doesn't show up in this, so it's like. Yeah. Sometimes they just do theme months and everybody would like get like a Fantastic Four variant. Yeah. I had a Stormbreakers variant too. If I, mm-hmm. I think that the the main one, uh, the main variant cover B uh, by Granov was probably the best one. Hmm. Um, let me see if I can find it. Mm. Uh, but yeah, uh, issue two, Venom Separation Anxiety issue two, cover date August twenty twenty four, The King of Purple Part Two. Even a single hair casts its shadow. Okay. <laughs> Uh oh, uh, b- 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 uh, Gerardo Sandoval is the only penciler this time. Victor Nava is inker this time. This one. Oh, hold on. I like that one a lot better. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That almost looks like a uh, painted cover almost. Yeah, I love those. Yeah. And you don't really see a lot of that for Venom, so uh, mm-hmm. that's what really struck me with that cover. Yeah, I mean none of these covers are bad. I mean I like these a lot more than like some of the uh, mini series we've been covering. Yeah. See kids. There's the pur- That's creepy. The purple man's uh, symb- I'm sorry, it's symb- creepy. symbiote prison tattoos there. <laughs> I know so purple man looks creepy. I like that. Yeah, the venom on that cover. All right, so two. Uh, purple man goes to visit uh, Doctor Hans Gilder. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a damn diehard villain. <laughs> now I have a machine gun. Ho. Oh. Uh, so yeah, like uh, yeah, the guy's like, I'm surprised it got this far with all the uh, security. Well, guys. they're in New Jersey. What can you expect? Oh, that hive of scum and villainy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you don't expect me to be intimidated by those ridiculous prison tattoos. But they're not tattoos, Doc. It's not intimidation I'm after. So of course he calls more security. Bro, he flips their faces real good. <laughs> I know. I know. Mm. And, it, and uh, of course, it's Purple Man, so if he hits uh, somebody with those uh, tentacles, I guess now they're, uh, they're under his control because he tells them to go jump in the lake or whatever. The duck pond, bud. Oh, duck the pond. duck pond, yes. 
Uh, I don't think those are tentacles. And then they, then you remember this about Doctor Doom keeping them prisoner. Oh yes, kids. The original Emperor. <laughs> Doom. What's he to do at this point? What the hell? Yes, all. Uh, yes, the original Emperor Doom story where he basically throws him in a giant diamond, and yes, Doom controls the world that time. Mm. Smaller psycho prism Doom used to protect the, protect his own will. A short distance, powered by a hair plucked from my own head. Also, he tells the freaking. <laughs> Please stop calling me Eddie. <laughs> oh my. Mm. Can you imagine your symbiote calling you the wrong name? Oh, Rush. like you're calling, like someone, like because they call you their ex's name? Oh. Rough. Rough. Also, Rough. love that Joy has a little Spidey plushie on top of her computer. Oh, love yeah. Because yeah. same, because like I am obsessed with all the um, Spidey and his amazing friends. Like all their like little merch is so cute. Uh, oh, I love Eddie. Please go away. We were once close, once even as competitors, and we might have become closer. Oh, if you hadn't fallen in love with Annie. Oh, oh, damn. Man, he had groupies band back in the day. No wonder. No wonder. He listen, had... listen. Meatheads got their fans. No wonder. No wonder. No. Hey, no wonder he was pissed. He lost that journalism career. Oh my lord. I mean, it was attracting poontang left and right. I mean, listen. Back in the 90s, the, a journalist was the thing to be. <laughs> That's why he was seeing Spider-Man's brain. He's like, you, you know, you know, you know what you hiding? You cost me? Jeez. Oh, oh, he's sexually frustrated. That's what it was. <laughs> well, dude, the white thing is always pumping iron. <laughs> <laughs> or something else. Gotta get that testosterone. Gotta get the testosterone, aka the poison out somehow. <laughs> uh-huh. I love that he calls him his other. It's so cute. Oh. Mm. Uh... But yeah, he's like, uh, yeah, he's coming through the the whole, yeah, my other nice thought to protect innocence, blah, 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 blah. I love her face when he finally turns into Venom right in front of her. Uh, oh yeah, and then there, the news is talking about the, uh, the whole thing at Gilder's place, and then, uh, secu- but security showing a shadowy figure appears to be a highly tattooed man with oddly molted skin. And then they make a deal. Yes, him and Joy, yeah. She's like, I provide you with intel, and in return, you give me exclusives on your progress for a Daily Bugle follow-up story. And then we got this guy looking like Commissioner Gordon. Yes. I was like, oh, David, are you trying to say something? Mm, oh, no, yeah, Jonas Hale. Yeah, yeah, so. Oh, Lord. And, of course, yeah, kids, for you in the know, Arthur Dearborn. So. Uh-oh. Centurion, I'm like, damn, that's random. Also, well, technically the Fantastic Four, well, the Fame shows up. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, because Eddie. Like, oh yeah, we get the yeah we get the Freedom Plaza and stuff. So yeah. For Freedom Plaza, yeah, because Eddie kind of needs to get in there. Mm. Oh yeah, because the Purple Man comes up to Ben Grimm and yeah shakes his hand. So. Oof! Yeah. To, to get him in the building. To reprogram the security systems. Because <laughs> yeah, because part. Pieces of that old uh, Prism Doom hat where uh, Reed Richards has them. So, yeah, I love that these aren't the droids you're looking for. A little bit, <laughs> and the guy goes, "Huh?" He goes, "Nothing. Don't worry about it, kid." No. <laughs> and yes, yeah, so Reed put the pieces back together. So there's a small Prism. Uh, so yeah, Kilgrave uh, tries to gra- grab the Prism, and then Venom webs his hands up. He calls him his bumpy orange friend, and I'm just like. <sighs> Gives me Trump vibes. Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh. mm. It'll be the bi- it'll be the biggest prism we've ever seen. That's crazy, cause like he's like to be whole again. It's a singular hair. Like this guy is out of his mind, literally. Uh-huh. But yeah, once Venom shows up, yeah, the thing's still in his power. So he tells Ben Grimm to attack Venom. Good luck with that. Mm. So yeah, even but even ben, uh, Eddie says you know the, the purple man's in your head. He's like it's not your fault, but uh, we have to stop you. Mm. But yeah, <laughs> he used to use. And all- then out of nowhere, another another challenger has entered the, the arena. Exactly. Mm. Well, of course we're in four frame of plaza. We're gonna pull out the sonic gun, and then Centurion shows up, and mm. Centurion grabs that crystal and teleports out. <laughs> the purple man. Well, I have to admit, didn't see that coming. <laughs> I love how he's down there pretending to be the police officer. He's like, nothing to see here. Everybody move along. Yes. Mm. And then, yeah, and he's just like, yeah, Purple Man probably made some cop drive him away. Well, why did he want the mini prism? So, yeah, swings away. 
Yeah, there's some good art in this. I mean, him hunching on the uh, rooftop there and everything. I like the rhino art, actually. It looks... Uh, rhino actually looks intimidating in this. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I kind of mm. like that. And, of course, someone mentions the name Wilson Fisk, so... Wilson! <laughs> Uh, King Titties himself. Nobody tell Russell. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, nobody tell Noel. <laughs> Those boobs scare me. Uh, oh, did you hear my joke? Do you, know, you know how you summon Noel Tate? How? It's just like Candyman. Uh, a Republican says Noel Tate into a mirror three times. <laughs> I don't think they're brave enough to do that. They'll <laughs> kick them in the face for sure. It's <laughs> so like a Saturday Night Live skit. You get you know get all those Republicans at a sleepover and they're just like, no, say it in the mirror, say it in the mirror. <laughs> Man, we're getting so many in memoriams. Like I feel old. I know. <laughs> like I know. We got one. <laughs> <laughs> the last one. The last couple. <laughs> the last couple years, man, we've been losing all our comic heroes here. Yeah, a lot of them. It's the price of getting older. It's kind of weird that they decided to do the a little kingpin angle, though. Yeah. Yeah, but again, I mean, at this point, you know, in the nineties, it's basically like if any, you know, if any dirty dealings are happening in New York, it, Fisk is at least uh, expecting his cut. <laughs> touche, touche. Also, they went. And brought a poor doggy into this i don't appreciate that oh yeah yeah i know nothing uh raises your or justin's anger more than like you know putting a uh, dog in danger <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that stops the it stops the party immediately where justin's like no i don't like that no, no. <laughs> all right yeah like i literally like i does the dog die i feel like yeah, I have to watch that movie. Sometimes. I have to look at the list sometimes. I have to make sure. I can't deal with that. <laughs> well, it's like a whole city gets bombed and everyone dies. Yeah, that's fine. But one dog? No, no, no. <laughs> even... Again, again, as I said on We Are the Night, feet, that man podcast. I literally, like, animal movies, Disney specifically, animal movies raised me. Okay? Like, Homeward Bound, 101 Dalmatians. It's a reason why I have five dogs. Okay? I blame Disney. Five. Lady and the Tramp. <laughs> Oliver and Company. Shout out to Oliver and Company. Five dogs, three kids. It's like a hotel over there. Jeez. Yeah. More like a, a, a zoo, honestly. True. All right. You ready for three? Let's do it. Oh, my. Look at that cover. <laughs> uh, Venom Separation Anxiety. Number three from September 2024. The King in Purple Part 3. Ghosted. <laughs> Get it. Mm. You will if you don't. Well, let's just look at that cover. You know who's showing up. Well, this one only had three total covers. Hmm. See, that's... Oh, the... this one has a, the, a Spider-Man uh, variant. And what's the other one? But yeah, this one opens up with the ghost, of course. Why? We'll never know. Trying to get, you know, the Fisk security is trying to take him down. And Kingpin's like, no, no, he's here as my guest. He'll be treated as such. Uh... But yeah, he says, to the business at hand. Uh, he's like, I've been contacted by individuals in high places to obtain a rather unique item. It's currently in the possession of Roxxon. Yeah. So, it's always Roxxon. Yep. Well, again, Centurion works for them, and now he has that prism, so. Exactly. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so. Oh, they have another painted cover for this one. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. And again, yeah, the ghost makes a kind of set. It makes kind of sense because he hates corporations and sure sure dan so yeah so uh yeah i think that's an old tate under that costume all right uh <laughs> but he says yeah he, kingpin's like yeah give me the prism and he's like yeah, any physical damage you render in the process will be shall we say a bonus mm -hmm. so yeah so he goes out to get the prism back and then put more venom swinging around stop and again would would it be a venom miniseries if he doesn't stop a mugging <laughs> Ex you know what exactly it's like spider-man letting the bad guy go on christmas it has to happen would it be a venom series if he didn't lift weights and stop mugging <laughs> if he doesn't lift at least one weight or does one exercise i riot mm -hmm. uh i want to guess uh yes uh, kids you may not know this but they used to have telephones on the streets uh they called them pay phones. yes because yeah you know the things superman changes into <laughs> he uses to change his costume 
<laughs> so, yeah. That's a real thing. It wasn't just made for the movies, kids. I, lo- I love Venom. It's just like, yeah, we usually don't ask for payment. He's like, but can we have a quarter? And they, they just, the, the mugging victim gives him a quarter. It swings off. And I love she's just standing there going, okay. It's Marvel's New York, you know? Mm-hmm. But yes. Yeah, I'm sure weirder things have happened to her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yes, he uses the co- the quarter to call Joy. <laughs> Hey, man. Hey, man. A- Annie moved and left no forwarding address. So, you know, meathead got a meathead. Bro, when I was first, like, glancing through, like, I was just kind of glancing through the pages. I stopped. I was like, that's not Moon Knight, right? No, no. I was like, because that would have got real weird. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, because she's like, why don't you stop by? He's like, I know I what I've become is unnerve you and stuff. You trying to get some booty, bitch? <laughs> Oh, but I do like uh, Centurion actually stands up to uh, hail here because usually a lot of stories, you know, Centurion. Yeah, he's a sniveling little Cent- weasel. Yeah, he's usually just a corporate man through and through. Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, someone, yeah, you're right. Someone uh, could use that. Sometimes you got to stand up to sales, legal, and marketing. Sometimes you really do. Mm-hmm. Needs to happen. And then we get it. Uh, yeah, back at Pilgrim. Yes, they're working on that. Reconstructing the giant prism, saying the very survival of America. So yes, so yes, kids. Let, let her fall. She's she's done, boys. Pilgrim, the site of this year's Republican National Convention. Oh, I, I just know Noel lost his mind. It was way worse than Elon and freaking Trump being in your neck of the woods a couple weeks ago. I know, I know. It's been grander crashed. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, they made Grinder crash when they were there. That's what they said. Look it up. It's a true story. Who the Republicans or Trump yeah. and Eel? Oh my lord! When the when the Republican um yeah when the Republican like national uh convention was there. Oh my! Yeah, Grinder crashed. <laughs> oh jeez. In that particular uh state, so yeah. Oh coincidence, I'm sure. It could mean nothing, or it could mean everything. <laughs> Well again, well, again, you know, all the they love taking polls. It's close to the election. I mean, it's, it's been a thing since I was in like elementary school. There was always like a Republican senator getting busted in like an airport bathroom, tapping his foot. Yeah. <laughs> Although I think the I, lady doth protect too much with I, all those bills that they were always trying to not pass. I'm mm, just saying. Mm, I know, I know, but I, I think all those conventions, it's like ever since you know for decades, is always like, yeah, it's either like <laughs> male, female, all the prostitutes like do good, good business when the same you know. thing with the Super Bowl. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bunch of people there spending money. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and then of course, uh, Venom shows up, and of course, gets right through security. And who's this guy with the uh, Deadpool mat? Who's who's this beat with the Deadpool mat? Who is that? Or Red Hood? Uh, but yeah, when he said "kill the dog," I literally closed the book for a little bit. (laughs) Yeah, I was like, nope, nope, not right now. I'll be back. (laughs) But of course, it's just a hologram. So that's that's how you check. That's definitely how you. Um, it it reminds me of like what is that? Uh, the Kingsman, where they have the dog, they have to raise it, and then your final test is oh yeah, the dog. I fail miserably every time too, Eggsy. Don't blame you. Uh, then Purple Man shows up uh, with like almost a zombie army. <laughs> I love Venom. Purple Man, Centurion, and an Iron Man wannabe? So many choices. Who did this member first? I love how he's like, of course it was. What do you think I am a barbarian? <laughs> what? When he's like, of course it was a hologram. What do you think I am a barbarian? Uh, I'm like, well. No, you're a businessman. A corporate sh- shill. Then Purple Man takes over the guy in the suit who starts blasting everybody. Mm. So then Venom's like, oh, Kilgrave's responsible for all this. Take him out first. Mm. And then the ghost shows up, of course, gets the uh, prism. And of course, yeah, Purple Man can't touch ghosts because they become intangible. Mm. And then an Anson bomb? <laughs> yeah, ghost. That. Yeah. He's like, you know, we'll render the entire building to dust. Mm. He's like, yeah, and he. <laughs> Who even tells you when it's going to explode? Because yeah, it gives you a little countdown. So uh, Venom takes the tries to get rid of the bomb and yeah you know, breaks through the skylight basically and throws it outside. That's another good panel of him leaping down with all the all that broken glass and stuff. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, then Venom's like, ah, everyone got away. Uh, but no, Ghost was successful. Kingpin has the prism now. Um, 
Kingpin and Kingpin's tempted to use the prism himself. He's like, nah, I gave my word. Mm. Then so, yeah, tells the secretary, yeah, contact Roman Travis on the secure line. Tell him he may pick up his package in the morning. <laughs> He's getting a package every other day. <laughs> <laughs> I love both memorizes all the all the drops she loves. Seems like I'm getting a package every other day. <laughs> oh my! So yeah, Venom finally figured out that Purple Man somehow siphoned off some of the symbiote. Each time we've touched him, makes him stronger while making us weaker. What if he were to take all of it? Uh, hey. <laughs> I understood that reference. Venom, all right, well, it's like, indeed, indeed. <laughs> Indubitably, my good sir. <laughs> all right, thoughts? I don't know what's going on, but I like it. Yes. <laughs> I mean, in a good way, it seems like Michelinie's just, like, thrown everything in, like, including the kitchen he sink. Was, he had fun. He's like, oh, you want me to come back? I'm going to up the ante and blow your mind. Centurion. Oh, purple the, man fun. Centurion, the ghost. <laughs> Yeah, I think he likes the ghost because he used the ghost all over the he used these ghosts all over the place. Some like Spider Man stuff, Iron Man. But the main beef really being Venom and Rhino, just a meathead fisticuffs, uh, Bacchanal, if you will. I kind of I kind of like that. Yes, 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 yes. I, don't think, I really like the artwork for Rhino. Oh it's, yeah, it's yeah. really good. It's like some of the best I've seen for the Rhino. Yeah, let's get the four because yeah, look at that color. Oh yeah, and then also Doom. All roads lead to Doom. Oh yeah, especially yeah. Everyone loves the Doom. I shall find out. Check out the new uh, podcast, One World Under Doom. Uh, all Actually, right. I'm having fun with Naval, uh, Name One November. Oh, are you? Have you been listening? Yes, yes. I've been, I've been uh, creeping on you. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, if uh, YouTube is any indication, yeah, a lot of other people have been uh, enjoying it also. Oh, you, you know, you know, Justin's enjoying himself. <laughs> Again, send in some feedback for episode 100. We're covering the, the big, the biggies. <laughs> Like Fantastic Four, number four, all that good stuff. All right. Uh, Venom Separation Anxiety, number four, from October 2024. The King in Purple, part four. The Past is Prologue. Mm, same team. All right. So. Oh, oh, Ward. Purple Man shows up at the foxhole. <laughs> As you do. So. So he's got a bunch of gay zombies now? What? worst zombies to have no yeah no mm. and yeah then of course we're getting the flashback to the emperor doom again who was basically just like what mm. torturing the mayor and then doom shows up and mm. oh my dr victor von doom one of the very few with a will strong enough to resist my mental commands of course he's a narcissist <laughs> exactly he's, makes sense. he's a petty narcissist i mean <laughs> uh, a little salty too Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, mm, so yeah, we did the little uh, Doom flashback, and then mm, yeah, Kilgrave is still looking for that mini prism. But then in an abandoned tenement, yes, our 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 meathead star is uh, breaking through a wall here. Oh, he's even got the little spittle. <laughs> yep. Mm, and then yeah, then he goes back to see Joy and. If you need any data you've gathered, and we promise you'll have all the background you need for your little My Dinner with Venom story. <laughs> but uh, she says, yeah, don't worry, don't bother. The Beagle was canceled. It What? Jonah thought I was glorifying a vigilante. Said he was afraid I might write a Spider-Man as hero story next. <laughs> <laughs> you know Eddie hates that at this point, being compared to Spider-Man. Of course. Uh, I love Jonah's like, yeah, no, yeah, no. No, no, no Venom story, please. Uh, well, I think she said, uh, you know, good reporters unbiased. I made the mistake of trying to include your Eddie Brock side. You're made to feel victim to his own weaknesses. Now you do good things for good reasons, but with brutal, bloodthirsty actions. Mm-mm-mm. Anyone here film called out yet? <laughs> uh, but yeah, but she still gives them information. She says, here, you know, rumors about Wilson Fisk, so. That's where we're going. Oh my god, look at the... Do you see the uh, license plate on the front of that truck? Yeah. King PNK. <laughs> mm, but yeah, Purple Man tries to stop the transport. He's the ass man! <laughs> <laughs> no, according to the this, this state of New York, you are the ass man. Mm, 
And of course, yeah, security tries to fire on Kilgrave, and of course, the, with that new symbiote, he catches the bullets and shoots them back. That's when Eddie shows up and throws a Volkswagen at him. <laughs> so yeah, but his symbiote catches it and throws it back. Uh, so yeah, we're getting a big symbiote fight in the street here. Oh, Eddie picks up a glass shard and stabs Purple Man in the shoulder with it. But then, yeah, the team's like, yeah, no, Kilgrave's only good for the rest of the lives. So, of course, yes, Rhino's back. Trying to stop back. Venom. Rhino, still determined, still stupid, Eddie says. <laughs> so, yeah, Kilgrave goes along with his business while these two fight it out. I may not have a PhD, Squishy. He calls Venom Squishy. But I don't mean I can't learn new tricks. Yeah, Rhino tackles Venom through a wall. Yeah, look, some good action here, kids. Yeah, this they finally ramped it up. Also, the purple tentacles. Yes. Kind of a vibe. Mm. Oh, oh, my lord. Then they like crashing on some fight club, underground fight club. Also, that car giving Superman the first Superman uh, issue, or action comics issue vibes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, they crashing on this fight club. 50 bucks on the gorilla in the costume. Which one? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so, uh, no. Purple Man has the uh, mini prism. Got his, got his hair back. <laughs> For two like seconds. That, that's kind of crazy. He's like one singular hair. Mm. Mm. But yeah, the, uh, the fight's still going on and <laughs> Venom webs right in the face. But then uh, Venom sees, yeah, they're getting away. Uh, the team's getting away with Purple Man. So he hitches a ride. Mm. I love that just like, oh. <laughs> They think they've got uh, Purple Man prisoner, but uh, I guess he's breaking through that cage there. He's come out of his cage and he feels just fine. What now? Oh, my. I was going to say, doing his nice little uh, Carnage impersonations on the last page there. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the only thing missing from this Carnage. <laughs> that would have been a little too, too much. Mm-hmm. All right. Any thoughts or should we jump to the end here? <laughs> yeah, let's let's do it. All right. Like I said, uh, yeah, there's a variant for five. Is basically the Infinity Gauntlet cover with uh, Venom instead. You do what you gotta do. <laughs> I like this main cover though. Yeah, <laughs> King of the Heat, baby, King of the Heat. Venom sitting on all the uh, enemies from this series. Ooh. So yeah, we see uh, Venom showing up where. For the, uh... Oh wait a minute. Uh, so yeah, so Venom separation anxiety number five. Let me see. I think it's the same team here, but. Oh, that, that that title, the maniac who would be king. Mm. Oh, look, kids, we're in the future, November twenty twenty four. Yeah, the the manor maniac who would be king. Mm. So yeah, of course, uh, yeah, you know, people are trying to do experiments because like, they want Purple Man's powers, but then this guy kind of takes uh, part of the symbiote too. Venom breaks in, it's absorbing bullets. Yeah, come on, Venom fighting soldiers, come on. But yeah, this group basically, yeah, they they have their they're gonna they want to use the prism to uh they're gonna test it on a hundred mile radius. Let's see if they control control everyone in a hundred mile radius. But first, it's like yeah, make everyone salute in a hundred mile radius. Mm. And of course, when his men, uh, he's this colonel or whatever. Yeah, once he wants to uh, start controlling everyone, some people are uh, some of his troops are questioning his orders until they get a gun pointed at their heads. Mm. Here comes Eddie. So, see, kids, Venom saved everyone from being mind control. Mm. Well, you know, what are you going to do? Mm. Oh, tell me someone's not feeling jealous. And he comes in with a rocket launcher. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, come on. Seriously, December's right around the corner. Let's get this cash out going. Mama needs a bazooka or a tank. Oh, my. I mean, I literally live in Florida, guys. I could use a tank to roll around in for my safety. <laughs> Exactly. So yes, I mean that's I mean he, but Eddie blows up the, the the mind control device with that bazooka. So mm. that's right, kids. <laughs> Lil Philly has like two things on her Christmas list here: bazooka and a working sex bot. Oh my! <laughs> okay, three <laughs> things. I was thinking the tank too. Okay, yes, three <laughs> things. I mean, the bazooka and the tank is the either or uh, thing. Okay. I don't really care. Yes, kids. So yes, she she has two things on her list. She wants a. Uh, a bazooka and a uh, sex bot with the, the big bazooka. <laughs> mm, so yeah, Eddie blew up the device. Then Purple Man tries to like hit him with his symbiote, but then Eddie's able to absorb all his symbiote back. Mm. And of course, yeah, Purple Man's alive, but of course he's kind of out of it because the separate the 
the shock of separation. So Eddie leaves, leaves the purple man for the authorities. Mm. Of course, Joy shows up. Mm. She's like, well, maybe I do want to bang a monster. I don't know. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, Give good. me a lot to think about. <laughs> <laughs> Playing with those tentacles. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my. I've never thought about hentai, but they do say it's an art form. I don't think those are tentacles. Uh, and then, Tendrils, tentacles, it's all the same. And then at the end there, it's just, you know, uh, he's like, the world you say I've saved is your world. world I still have to live in. And in that world, sometimes the only win-win is just breaking even. Again, another great shot of him just swinging away at the end there. Oh, yeah. Hate to see you leave, but love to see you thwip away. Oh, my. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> All right. So, yes. Yeah, so, what did you think of that, this one? I do like the original better. Mm. But this one was fun. Like, yes. this is like literally, David said, you know what? I'm going to have fun. I'm going to give them something they never thought about. And, like I said, he did the Rhino really well. This is like one, like I said, this is like, I think this is probably my favorite iteration of Rhino. So, and again, I don't know I if he's. a lot, but like, I, I don't know. Like, the first one had a little more heart. It was a little more. Mm hmm really getting into the bond that these two have this is kind of just like yeah i can't be messed with this is my symbiote nobody's gonna take it away from me and again i don't know if he's doing any more of these venom series so this might i don't know if this is the last one so he might have just been like yeah let's go out with a bang you know (laughs) yeah just throw everything in here i'm surprised we didn't get a cameo from peter parker (laughs) spider-man i thought we were for sure but it didn't need it. Like, I've always said, like, at this point, Venom is its own NC. We don't really need Spider-Man. Yeah. I think Venom is literally, like, the anti-Spider-Man. Like, I think a lot of people that, like, just don't specifically vibe with Spider-Man can vibe with Venom. Yes. Yes. And it's the same thing. It's like, just because you're, like, Venom doesn't mean you're going to, like, necessarily, like, Carnage or any of the other symbiotes. All the other symbiotes have, like, this distinctive thing that brings their fans to them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So yeah, like I like that that was the thing for me. Like him always talking about Peter. I'm just like, babes, we're so beyond that at this point. I don't care. I'm just here for you. It's okay. I'm for here for this odd couple routine that you got going on with your symbiote. Yeah, it just depends when this falls on the timeline. You know, yeah. if it, I know. I, I totally get the timeline thing, but I'm just saying, like, yeah. I, that's why I like a lot of modern venom, is like they just don't feel the need for that anymore. And I'm glad kind of falling away from that. Exactly. All right. You want to talk some new books? Uh sure. There's always a new book to talk about. Mm. Oh, hey, I know you haven't been reading Spider-Man Reign 2, but issue four, they had a big revelation. Remember how I said, like, yeah, you know, Peter came back in time with, like, a little, like, cat girl who's, like, a sidekick. So I'm like, like, oh, is that Felicia's daughter? Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, Felicia kind of adopted this girl after her mother got killed because they, they reveal that the cat girl, her father was Miles Morales and her mother was Squen. Oh, Mm. Okay. And then, yeah, she blames Mal for the mother, or Gwen's death and stuff. Yeah. Yikes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. I, I have been liking the covers, but I like Kari Andrews, so, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always go down in the comic book store. I always gravitate towards the co- to the cover, and I'm just like. <laughs> and I don't know if it's intentional or not, because I've seen his style look a little different. But, yeah, like, in this series, his, like, I think I said it before, his style was very uh, McFarlane-esque in this series, in this, this time. Which I said, yeah, maybe intentional, sense. yeah. And again, again, like I said, I, I definitely pick up the cover every single time. Mm. And again, we had more of Mary Jane as Venom. And... It, like I said, the whole thing is it's just giving, you know, Flashpoint for me. And I just... I know, I know. And they're, they're even I'll like... wait for it. Is this the last issue or does it have one more? I think I might have one more. Yeah, I'll wait for it to wrap up. Like, yeah. I just, I couldn't see myself like on, on Tinder hooks for this every month. So mm-hmm. I was just kind of waiting for the trade. Mm, I was gonna say, should we do everything else before we get to Venom War? Because there was a few Venom War issues. Uh, oh, How are you, you feeling about? Did you pick up Miles Morales Spider Man number twenty five? I did. I did. Um, I mean, I've been liking it. I mean, I like you know the whole vampire. I like thing. the vampire bloodlust. I love it. I mean, are we? I mean, are we really trying to hook people and get some sales numbers? Because again, I, I mean, mean, we got Black Panther, and I'm just like, oh, all the guests. Pre- we're, we're remembering Miles is uh, okay. Cool, yeah, because cool, cool. yeah, because again, yeah, Black Panther shows up here. Was it the annual storm showed up? Uh, yeah, Misty Knight's been in and out of this thing. So I kept laughing with it. I was like, you guys kind of remember. Good on you, Cody. <laughs> I mean, I think that's what a lot of people have really been wanting. Like, 
to get him out of Peter's shadow is to kind of like put him in, you know, with other characters of color. Mm-hmm. Like him and Kamala, like I said, that was like actually a really good choice, I thought. Yeah. They have a lot in common, actually. Um, it, it, it was a little misused, but I did like the idea of it. And I kind of like the idea of this. And because like, it's like a joke, right? Like if you like vampires, especially if you're a black person, you're like, where are the black vampires? You know, we just got interviewed with a vampire, you know, the, the TV show mm. and they make uh, Louis black and that kind of changes the context of it. But yeah, and like you have like Blade and it's very few, you know, Brooklyn and vampire, you know, vampire in Brooklyn, very few. So I thought that that them giving him like the vampire bloodlust thing is like pretty interesting thing for him. Yes. I just wish we would take back the electric powers. It's like babes. Oh, the venom blast and stuff. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it so much. I mean, maybe just like that's a- like every like every major popular black character that you can think of uh, outside. Like, yeah, pretty much. Like the first probably five black heroes outside of Blade that you think of have electric powers. It's just a little cringe. I mean, maybe and as- they, re- they did it retroactively. He didn't have it originally. They didn't have to do that. No, and like a quick little jolt, maybe. But I, I don't. I don't like this thing where he can like make swords out of it and stuff. I'm just like, no. I'm like, what is he a Green Lantern? Like, come on. Yeah, that's a little too much. Yeah, no. If, you know, if you want him to be able to just give someone like a slight little jolt, yeah, fine. But yeah, and then also, um, or less maybe that's part. Maybe that's because again, they keep the, in the story that's kind of tied into the vampirism. So maybe, maybe could we use that as an excuse to take that maybe away from him? Yeah, but also the new Deadpool that was a little that that one was where I was like, oh, okay. Well, Cody's writing that book too, so yeah, I figured shekels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get your shackles. I'm not mad, but I was just kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah, the, yeah, Deadpool's daughter. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> oh, what do you think of uh, Spectacular Spider Men number eight? I'm enjoying it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't know that it's very well balanced, though. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot. I mean, we got the kind of like the therapy in the face of the aftermath of what's come before, but. uh yeah, what really draws me on this book is I, I like the art. Mm-hmm. I think that that's de- definitely the saving grace of this book. The story is kind of like every now and then really, really good. And then other times it's just kind of like average. Mm-hmm. But like this, the, the setup for the new arc seems pretty cool. So it does. It does. And again, either way, I'm cool with it, but it almost seems because like- they can't. It seems like they're like, okay, we got to take this seriously. Like, because they're both, they both kind of use their humor to deflect, and they are sad boys on the inside. We exactly. Definitely, they definitely need a little, they need, to, they need to let it out where it's not going to end well. But it just so. seems, it just seems so weird though, because it's like, yeah, like, like you were saying, like in the re- regular Miles book, it's like, we kind of want to get him out of Peter's shadow, but then meanwhile, we have a t- monthly team up book where they team up every month. Yeah. I, I don't know if that's actually hurting Miles at this point. Though. Exactly. He still feels like he's been around what feels like forever at this point. And he still feels so inexperienced and so young, even though they have aged him up quite a bit. It still just isn't quite where I want him to be, especially when you make this comparison with the Peter Parker and they have a team up book. Mm-hmm. I, I, they're trying, but it's, it's really hard. They have said the I mean, technically the age gap shouldn't be that much, but it kind of is in most probably readers minds, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, all the sliding time stuff is always a tricky thing. It's it's like when Bruce Wayne doesn't age, but all the Robins do. <laughs> well, well, first of all, he's vain. Well, yeah, oh, <laughs> he yeah, true. He gets plastic surgery and dyes his hair. There's... True, he's 60 <laughs> years old. I've been 40 for the last 40 years, you know, one of those things. Oh, that's true. He, wa- he washes his face every night with Lazarus pit water. Yeah, I know. I mean, honestly... <laughs> Bathing in it every day. Just a quick spritz. Just a quick spritz. Oh my! Oh, uh, it's subtle. Yeah. Oh, what did you think of uh, Ultimate Spider-Man number ten? That kind of came out of nowhere for me, but <laughs> I, I mean, it, it's still good. But it's like, yeah, you barely got Spider-Man in the. Well, you got Peter. You really didn't get Spider-Man in the issue. It was more uh, Ben and Jonah. Yeah, ben and Jonah. I was like, what the heck? We're 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 solving a mystery, gang. Get the get the freaking mystery mystery van here, mystery machine here. Is this like that Joker series? Is was this a backdoor for a Ben and Jonah series? You know, even if it was, I don't care. I kind of like it. I know, I know. <laughs> because they're trying to, they're. I mean, they get in Harry's face, but they're like, no, we don't want you, man. We we want to. We're, 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 we're gonna go investigate the kingpin. We want the kingpin, which yeah, okay. That's that's not a good play. Well, also the maker, I like, kind of actually feels like a threat now. So yes, yes, yes. I was I was kind of wondering when that was gonna hit. Well, again, it's like a countdown thing where yeah, 
like, oh, we have 14 months left. Because <laughs> that's the whole thing. Like, Iron Man's trying to rebuild, like, superheroes because, like, yeah, the maker changed reality. So, yeah, all these people didn't become superheroes in the first place. Yep. Uh, oh, and then, of course, the Venom War is still going on. <laughs> yeah, it is, actually. Mm-hmm. I mean, Venom War Deadpool is out this Number two is out this week. Which, how do you feel about that? I mean, we get a ton of symbiotes. We're getting a ton of My monsters. My little bun bun's having fun, man. Mm-hmm. I do like he's... I, I was mad thing. I was just like, oh, <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> man thing's always fun. How little? <laughs> Always. Oh my. Giant size man thing. Oh boy. See? Thought I forgot, but I didn't. Nah. Uh, so yeah. I mean, and I love uh, like Colin gave out a shout out to Kelly Thompson's run in the first issue. Yeah. King of the Monsters, man. Mm-hmm. I like that. I feel it. I dig it. But yeah, that I mean that's been fun. And then uh we got the wrap up the Venom War Venomous. I wouldn't call that a wrap up, but Well, it's the last issue of this uh, miniseries. <laughs> yeah. So how do you feel about that ending? They kind of left it where you could go either way with it. Or where it's like, yeah, we, we don't have to do that ever again. Or, hey, we get, we're going to do this again. Yeah, I think they're waiting on the full response to decide. Mm. So. Like, like black I one. think sometimes you need... I, I think comic books have really had a hard time learning when to go out on a high note. Like I said, King and Black was... They're never going to get better than that as an event. This one's fun and good, but I'm just telling you, that 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 is the... Yeah, but I think the it's... The gauge that they should gauge all future events yeah. going forward with. Well, I think if the industry is just in a such a place these days where it's just like, Everything's oh, a gimmick. are you going to keep spending money on this? Then we'll keep giving it to you. Yeah, and that, that that's the bad version of fan service. The mm-hmm. good version of fan service is, you know, little Easter eggs here and there and giving the fans what they want in small doses. But sometimes fans really don't know. Like, if we were going to pretend like the Snyder, the, the Snyder boys weren't Snyder bots, and we still got another dark Superman, and it didn't work, and they kept doing, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. doing the same thing over and over again is what? The definition of insanity. Well, you know, uh, not a clinical, but, you know, a colloquial term for insanity. So it's like, I'm on I'm on event fatigue, to be quite honest. I know, I know. Well, again, I mean... What's fun? Like, I, I like the stuff centered around Venom because it's going to be violent, it's going to be fun, and you're going to get some unexpected things uh, out of it. Mm. every time because there's people that i i would have never said, uh, thought that they would have tapped for anything to do with venom and they, they've had a very interesting perspective on it so like colin for instance like uh, I, you know, oh yeah little bun bun's having fun and i love that for him <laughs> uh oh it, it, it just struck me because of um, uh we were talking about black widow but did you see erica schultz is getting another uh da- daredevil uh with Elektra and uh next year i think yeah, they just gotta bite the bullet. In. I told you, I was like, bro, they gotta bite the bullet and just make let it, it be an ongoing. Yes, exactly. But uh, yeah, no, they see. It seems like they're they're giving her the uh, venom treat in the '90s venom treatment. It's like, yeah, let's yeah, do, yeah, do another miniseries, do another miniseries. Yeah, mm, I'm trying to remember. I, I I think is that the one that I think they were saying they might do a red band trailer or, uh, uh, version for. <gasps> I would die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I'm like that makes sense, yeah. Oh, Maybe we'll get another little uh, new Punisher team up. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Here it is. Uh, Daredevil Unleash Hell Red Band, the five issue limited series. Yeah, Erica Schultz is back. Uh, Who's doing the art? It is uh, Valentina Pinty. Oh, okay. From Blade and Immortal Thor. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. So Red Band kids, it can be a bloody. Yes, parental advi- label with a parental advisory and poly pegged. Yeah. Uh, Come on, Seven Eleven, give me a flashback to my childhood. Put it up there. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, it's on sale January. So yeah, it's like January eighth, the first day. Save up your money, kids. Twenty twenty five is gonna be hard on the nerd wallet. Hey. So look at that. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah. So you we're. I wish they would get the original Spider uh, Woman artist to do a little Electra art. I'm just saying. Oh, I, oh, nice. Just saying, or a variant cover or something. I think that that would be fun. Yeah. That would be a very great use of variant cover. So yeah, so we'll have plenty to talk about on the Devil You Know next year. Uh, yeah, the regular Daredevil book, the the, show, the Unleash Hell. Yeah, the show. So 
I'm going to keep saying allegedly until, like, until the pilot comes out. Supposedly, I think it's a, that I don't, I didn't see a specific date, but March, I think they're saying that. Yeah, they've been saying March for a while. Yeah. It better not be the week of St. Patty's Day, because. Uh, cause, I think St. Patty's Day next year is, like, on a Monday or something. Because Mama, so. Mama got to get drunk. <laughs> yeah, St. Patty's is on a Monday, so hopefully it's any, any day after <laughs> the 17th of March or before. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, at, at that point, you might be getting more Devil You Know than Ultimate Spider Cast. Well, but... yeah, we said we were going to do it. Uh, well, it's only nine episodes, so it's not going to be that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I was just saying Opposed maybe. Opposed to the 18, I was, I was actually kind of dreading that, to be honest. Like, I haven't covered a TV show that's been longer than, like, 13 episodes <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I don't, may- the, I don't have the gumption for it anymore, bro. I can't do another Arrow or Flash. I, yeah. can't, I can't do mainstream TV anymore. I've I've lost the I've lost the will for that. So maybe like yeah, for two months, maybe we'll get you'll get weekly W knows and maybe monthly Spider Cast or something. Yeah, I think that's what we talked about. Yeah, just reversing. All right. So anything else you want to discuss, Little Hellfire? Oh God! The monthly Spider- Ultimate Spider Cast be like two hours long because all the damn books. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we'll just pick. Oh, we'll just do our our favorite picks of the month or something. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. <gasps> oh, can you imagine? <laughs> Here's the 24 books that came out this month, <laughs> along with the, the show review. All right, all right, kids. So next time, you know what's coming next time? Episode 300. <laughs> Get your party hats out. Get your get your party favors out, whatever you whatever you want to do. Oh my, you know you know Lil's gonna have her party favors out. Uh. Smoked a doobie, a little edible, bro, a little edible in the cupcake, you know. Oh, nice. A little a little pixie dust, you know, right on the cupcake. So yeah, kids, yes, come celebrate with us. Yeah, we're gonna do it live though. The, Zeb- the Zebwell's farewell party. Uh, send in your favorite. Favorite issues that he did, uh, your least favorite, yeah. whatever. Send we'll, in, we'll, we'll talk it all. Send in your thoughts, yeah, if, yeah. D- don't hold back. Send us your thoughts. Uh, and then of course we got the uh, Venom movie coming out. So yes, yeah, we're yes. Doing, are we doing that on capes? Yeah, we oh, did that as a capes episode. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So yeah, stay tuned for uh, what is that? Capes three forty three, I think. Yeah, so. Oh, this might come out, or right? this episode might come out at the same time or close to that. So, yeah, so my, if you're listening to us on the podcast, it might already be out. So, but yeah, if it's last week, it's yeah, it's close. So, yeah, so yeah, stay tuned for all that. The Zebwell's party, the Venom review, <laughs> the last dance. All right, so yeah, send us your thoughts. Uh, and where can you do that? You say, you don't should. worry, he's got a graphic if you're watching on YouTube, that. but you should be. Yes, you should do both. Like, subscribe, leave a comment for engagement, please. We've been get- oh, that's sorry, I forgot to tell you. Uh, do you see we hit six hundred on uh, YouTube? Six hundred subscribers. No, you didn't see that. Oh, that's awesome. We're almost there. Yeah, just like in the last day or two. Yeah, yeah. Have you tried to do the live stream for mobile yet? No, not yet. That'd be big if we could. Well, nah, live streaming on YouTube. Mm. I don't know. We've been doing pretty decent on YouTube, just doing it the way we've been doing it. So. I'm just saying that way it could go up there with the Facebook and the Twitch. Oh, like yeah, yeah. More comments. Oh, true. Yes, yes, yes. Because I know a lot of people are like, like, YouTube is dry right now. So oh, my. Didn't have a live streaming option. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think StreamYard, you can do it through. I don't know. No, I don't think it's live. It might just, like, uh, automatically loads it. I don't know. There's nothing to get wet about anyway. <laughs> Especially since you got to pay Twitter to do it now. So. Yeah, Elon. Oh my god. Oh yeah, did you say do you do you want me to pay just the for for next episode just to get No, cuz then you'll have to pay for a whole month. No, that's okay. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I was going to say, well, we could we could live stream. You could tweet it like, "Hey, we're live on." Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say let's we just live stream for for there for a month, but I don't know. All right. So yeah, send us your thoughts, email us capes and lunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382 Two seven three seven. That's six one four thirty eight capes. And remember, you can find all things capes lunatics episodes, social media, merchandise. Get your brand new capes lunatics merch, your classic capes lunatics merch. You can wear it to the Subwells party. Uh, but also, who would use a social media platform <laughs> owned by Elon Musk? A lot of people, actually, a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> yes, who? <laughs> and of course, uh. Yes, that uh, threatened menace, little hellfire, demands that you rain ran the money on us through the cash app link. 
make it rain. Uh, Show me the money. Again, uh, yes, please don't make us dance on that pool because we're just going to get bothered left and right, bro. That's Marvel's New York. I don't know what's worse, Marvel's New York or Gotham. I don't want to do either. <laughs> oh, all these meatheads bothering us. <laughs> uh, so, yes, don't make us dance on that pool. She looks like she was just working a f- and stripper pole down at Divas. And, of course, the Patreon, where, again, you can find uh, uncensored con- content, exclusive content only for you, and if you're a patron, you can su- suggest topics, like uh, our good friend Justin, and the October episode, I think we locked it in, right? We're gonna just uh, have a little Halloween, Halloween costume party. Halloween party, yes, and talking about uh, some of our favorite horror uh, Get movies. Get your candy corn, kids! <laughs> yes. And your Reese's Cups, all of it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so, so please, you can subscribe to the Patreon at patreon.com slash Lunatics, and you can find everything all in one place. That's tubespace.io slash Lunatics Podcast Network. tubespace.io slash Lunatics Podcast Network. More vicious and brutal than ever. And again, if you want to contact any of us, yeah, just contact us through the uh, Capes and Lunatics Facebook I mean, Facebook. Yeah, you can, you can do the Facebook, but yes, uh, email, voicemail, uh, all the social medias. All right, kids. Wrapped up Venom Month. Next ta- next week, episode 300. So long as we've all been waiting for. Six, 30 months at least we've been waiting for this. Saying goodbye to Zeb Wells. But until then, swing on back. Don't forget to eat a little brain.